IOB had its roots in Chettinad in southern Tamil Nadu, a land where ancient temples dot its landscape. Temples that are replete with splendid art and architecture. The land of the Chettiar community of businessmen who for generations have been practicing their trade with truth and hard work as their founding principles, making their land prosperous with their easy terms of finance. The Nagarattars, as the Chettiars were known, were Indian pioneers in setting up overseas business enterprises in far-off lands in the Orient, ushering in progress and prosperity to the countries where they were established. The Nagarattar men, with the wealth they had earned abroad, brought their hard-earned riches home to Chettinad and constructed with French and colonial architecture awesome fort-like mansions for their families and soon came to be known as the men of Nattukotte of the land of country forts. The early 1930s was a time of global recession and Indian merchants practicing international trade abroad suffered by the lack of foreign exchange facilities from English-owned and other foreign banks in their countries of operation. It was also a time when Indian-owned joint stock banks were unwilling to risk financing international businesses. This was the time when a 28-year-old Chettinad pioneer emerged with a dream in his heart and a fire in his mind and with an enthusiasm that was boundless. MCT M. Chidambaram Chettiar was a man who had blazed a path-breaking trail in industry and insurance, a pioneer who foresaw the need to finance overseas Indian businesses, nurture industry and global trade, and place Indian enterprise on the world map. On February 10, 1937, Chidambaram Chettiar established the Indian Overseas Bank setting up branch offices the same day in the town of Karaikudi and in the port city of Madras that was soon followed by more foreign branches in Malaya and Burma. The bank earned the trust of a large and growing clientele and became renowned for its services in international trade and commerce. In 1947, the 38 branches of IOB in India joined in celebrating the nation's freedom as did the bank's seven offices abroad. The bank was also the first in India to offer consumer credit with its personal loan scheme. What's more, the bank was the first to introduce the comfort of drive-in banking at its cathedral branch Chennai and in more select centers. When IOB was nationalized in the year 1969, this new public sector bank would only continue on its services that all along had a social outlook in its national banking. IOB was an Indian banking pioneer, the first to introduce computerization in the 1960s. The bank has since fully computerized all of its operations. IOB became the first bank to be awarded the ISO 9001 certification for its in-house efforts in information technology. In the year 1984, IOB opened its 1,000th branch office. This commercial and institutional credit branch would serve large business houses and institutions and also provide depository participant services and online stock exchange trading to its customers. From the first days of its history, IOB has been a truly global bank. Its Hong Kong branch has completed over 50 years of service and has provided much needed financial support.